Hey, welcome to Ken's Games Collection, and it's so great to see Ron Gilbert continue on with the Monkey Island series with Return to Monkey Island, um, which takes place after Monkey Island 2, La Chuck's Revenge, and it was only a digital release, but finally, good old Limited Run Games has delivered the goods again with an actual physical release of Return to Monkey Island. Okay, so when I go onto Limited Run Games website, I see all of these choices for Return to Monkey Island. I'm going to go through all of this stuff, break it down to see what's worth it and what's not. Now, we know with Limited Run Games, the production time is always a major factor. 12 months up to even 15 months sometimes, and I don't care what they say on their website between six to eight months we know it's going to be longer they seem to have a lot of games every week being added to the website and that's where i think the downfall is with taking on too much but hey that's a whole different video altogether but we'll just get in to all of these different versions of return to monkey island so we have the standard edition which is available on the playstation 5 xbox series x nintendo switch and also pc Return to Monkey Island is a region-free physical release and it's only available for pre-order for a limited time. Pre-orders close on Sunday the 5th of March 2023 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. This release is not part of Limited Run Games collection and is not numbered and they're only distributing this game on behalf of Devolver Digital. Production time is around four to six months Take note of that, I think it could be a lot longer than that. Now this is the one that really caught my attention because back in the day, PC gaming came in big boxes and this is what this is here. It's the big box, the old school big boxes, which was something that we loved back then. You walk into a, a computer store, wall to wall box games and the console section was really small, but let's have a look at what is in this collector's edition. We have the physical copy of Return to Monkey Island, we have the Return to Monkey Island Collector's Edition box. That's the big box, PC box. Um, we have the Monkey Island original soundtrack, LeChuck's onboard pamphlet, a letter from Ron Gilbert and David Grossman. I don't know if they've been signed, but I think that would be so cool if they were uh, signed by those guys. There's also a scrapbook, uh, a blowfish stress ball which i think a lot of us need at this stage of where things are going in the world um chums lua pin uh there is a collectible playstation 5 gold key each version of this game has their own collectible key we'll go into that more detail a bit later on um there's 18 by 24 poster and a booklet we also have this return to monkey island anthology upgrade kit which includes the Monkey Island Anthology O-Sleeve Upgrade Kit Collectible Gold Key, 8x10 Reversible Poster, a floppy disk style USB which includes the game on the USB. So this is really aimed at uh, current owners of box sets that want to upgrade their existing set to include the latest games. And the price for this is $60 US. And finally, we have the Return to Monkey Island Fan Bundle. And I tell you, you have to be a real fan to want to fork out $420 for this thing. Uh, it does include the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, PC, and the Anthology Upgrade Kit. Uh, there is a full set of limited run trading cards. There is a random trading card from past or future games. And the bundle does include... Uh, a guaranteed gold card $420 for that and that's just to get all the keys I, I don't get why you would want that I'll just be really happy with one of the box uh, versions of this the uh, collector's editions probably the PlayStation 5 so that's pretty much it that's the different versions you can get for Return to Monkey Island, uh, I'm so wrapped that this is actually getting a physical release. I don't know if it's going to get a general release. If it does, that will be great. But let's face it, if you want to get uh, one of these big box versions, the collector's editions, then um, Limited Run has to be the way to go for it. Um, it's just the way it is. But um, yeah, expect long delays for these things. 
I just think limited runs taking on too much. They just can't keep up with the demand and stuff is just getting pushed back 12 to 15 months. I, I don't know. It's just crazy. Um, that Loom Collector's Edition for PC, really, I really find that appealing. I love the old LucasArts games on PC back in the day. And yeah, this sort of stuff brings back a lot of memories. And um, if you've been burnt by a limited run before, we all have, I think. Um, but let's face it, if you want something like this, then limited run games is the way to go. So yeah, that's pretty much all I want to talk about today. It's up to you guys to make the decision if you want to get this or not. If you don't want to get it, then fine. But if you do like me, then yeah, we just got to bite the bullet and do it. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time guys. Bye.